Hello, this is Scott from Montana Jack's Outpost. This is my office manager, Shadow. We're going to show you a few things about Warren's plow system today and answer a few of the questions that we, we get quite often. We will be using several different products today, all from Warren. We're going to go through, show you how the Fairlead bracket, this is a 102857. Standard roller Fairlead, 100995. We will be showing you a little bit about one of our straps, 68191. The 69645 safety strap that we put on the hooks. Plow bases come standard with the 81271 plastic rope guide, and we will show you about the 81630 pulley upgrade to replace that. We're using a 92100 front plow base push tube assembly. All of the same principles apply to the 78100 center mount Pro Vantage plow base push tube. We are using a VRX. 25S with the synthetic rope. These are available with steel cable as well. We have it mounted to the Fairlead plate and a 69373 plow roller Fairlead. All of the links to these items will be in the description below. With the difference between the standard roller Fairlead and the plow roller Fairlead. The standard roller Fairlead has equal size rollers all the way around. Now if you're lifting your plow with that, your rope is over a pretty tight radius where it's constantly going up and down over the roller. This is where the plow roller Fairlead is more forgiving for your rope. That larger radius just translates to less damage to your rope over time. Uh, a lot of applications, standard roller will work just fine, but if you do have rope wear problems, you might consider going to the plow roller as your first line of improvement. With the VRX, in some applications, you may need a Fairlead bracket. If your machine is 15 or newer, your Fairlead bracket is probably built into your mount. Some of the older mounts had a bracket built in as well, but if you do not, you need to have this. It sandwiches between the winch and the winch mount. The plate normally, your bolts will go through your winch mount, through the Fairlead plate into the winch. Gives you something to bolt the, the Fairlead to. The 102857 has a little extra space here because of the larger drum supports from the older winch models. A little extra space for the bolts. I like to put the bolt in first before I install the winch because we don't have a lot of room back there. So you generally mount the Fairlead up first. So we're going to show you how the single line lift works. And this is the way everything comes stock from Warren. 81271. This is a rope guide that comes standard equipment with your plow base. And this would be used in a single line lift only. The rope guide installs through the top hole. And pivots right down into the bracket. Of course you would tighten that nut up before you finish installing. Now the guide will just pivot up out of the way. That allows you to slide your rope in behind it. And then we will put our quick pin in through the bottom hole. Now you would latch that bail. You would want to latch it out of the way of the rope like so. And then your winch hook is just going to go back to the cross member of the plow base. As you pull that tight with your winch, now you got a single line lift happening. The problem on some applications of the single line lift, if the plow base is too far forward of the winch, and that depends on your application, we will end up at a point where we're pulling backwards as much as we're lifting. And that puts a lot of extra strain on your rope as it goes over your fair lead, causes premature rope wear. So this is where our pulley upgrade kit comes in. 81630. It's going to replace your plastic rope guide. So we will remove these components. And we will replace them with our pulley upgrade. Now you can still use this pulley upgrade kit in a single line lift. It's more robust than the plastic rope guide. So I'll show you that first. You'll need a through bolt, not supplied by Warren. You're going to need either a 5 16 or an 8 millimeter bolt to do that. Now then you can install this pulley in this fashion. Winch rope coming over the top of the pulley, just like it did with the rope guide. And then put our quick pin in through there. Now we have the same single line lift that we had with the plastic rope guide. But with this pulley, we also have other options. We can go to a two line lift, which will really improve your rope wear, it will also reduce your plow blade lift speed by half and your drop speed by half. Now, we can do that with the same installation we just did, but our rope is reversed. Our winch line is coming in from the rear of the pulley and coming out the front this time. 
get our quick pin into place. Now here's where your 60A191 strap or any nylon strap you have laying around would come into play. You would simply tie this strap around your upper cargo rack, terminate your winch hook to your strap up here. Now we're lifting with a two line lift. Now what this does, takes half the weight of the plow assembly, puts it on your cargo rack. Only half the weight is still on your fair lead. So that's gonna reduce your rope wear at this point. The thing you gotta be careful about is does your rope hit the little rope guides on the back of the pulley bracket? If so, there's a couple of options and different ways to put this pulley in that will alleviate that. The first thing you might wanna do is see if your application will work in this fashion. Our pulley is gonna now be standing straight up. Our little ears will be, instead of leaning against our through bolt, they'll be leaning against the back of the plow base. And then our pin will come through the top hole. Now we still have our two line lift. Our little rope guides are completely out of the way, not needed in this in this fashion, I'm putting it in this way. Now, if you still have an application that your wear guides are, or your rope guides are still rubbing on your rope, there's a third way this can be installed. It's gonna require a little fabrication on your part. That is back to using the through bolt again. So now our ears are going to lean against the through bolt as they did in the first method. But this way, the pulley doesn't quite line up. So if this is the best look that you have with your application as far as keeping these out of the way, or any other reason you may want to do it this way, it's pretty simple. You need to get a little grinder, grind a little bit off the bottom of each of these bracket sides. Then this quick pin will line up and you can install it there. So basically, we have three options for a two-line lift. We come in with... Our, our little ears pointing up, leaning against the through bolt, using the bottom hole for pinning. We stand it straight up from there with the rope in the same place, use our top hole for pinning, rope coming up, or we can flip it around, bring the rope in from the back side again, lean against the through bolt, but in this fashion, in this case, you would need a little grinding off of these ends to get clearance to put your pin in. Any one of those three methods will give you a double line lift, probably see tremendous improvement on your rope wear, a lot less rope breakage, and again, half the action on your plow blade in your up and down mode. So I hope this answered some of your questions about the worn plow products that we carry here at Montana Jacks. All of these items plus a ton more are available on our website at montanajacks.com. That address is in the description below, as well as our phone number 406-952-4888. And we're always happy to help with install questions. Just give us a ring. Thank you.